This past March, Bowling Green hired Chris Jans as the school's 16th men's basketball coach. The Iowa native has spent the last eight seasons as an assistant coach at Wichita State, including the Shockers' run to the Final Four in 2013 and last year's 35-0 start. Earlier this week, Jans was in Lima as part of Bowling Green's annual freshman send-off. We had a chance to pick the head Falcon's brain as he begins to get acclimated to BG in Northwest Ohio. Yeah, we've got our feet underneath us now. We've been there for uh, almost five months, four and a half months, and uh, uh, starting to get comfortable. You know, got a little more lay of the land, uh, both in and around campus and in the community, and got our whole staff in place. And obviously our players are in place now, and we're, we're getting geared up for the fall. But things have certainly slowed down uh, comparatively to the first few weeks on the job. You look at Bowling Green's basketball program, and certainly it seems as if all the pieces are in place to have some success. Well, that's one of the things that drew me here is that it's not broke. You know, they got a beautiful stroll center that recently, bit a re recently built arena and uh, a very aesthetic, pleasing campus and administration that's in place with Dr. Maisie and Chris Kingston that, that get it and, and want to win and, and are giving us the resources necessary to do that. And, um, you know, our university, that's very respected. So uh, we think there's some pieces there and we're going to try to build on it. Spent the last several years at Wichita State. I know you want to build a Bowling Green identity, but certainly the Wichita, Wichita State blueprint is there for you. It is, and uh, we're certainly going to try to steal that blueprint. Uh, certainly not you know, piece by piece, but a, a lot of the stuff that we did there, we're going to try to bring over here, and certainly it was successful at Wichita State, but people have to remember that Wichita State, in year one, we won 11 games. Year two, we won 17, and it took us a while to, to grab a hold and, and to get the right players in place, and I'm not saying that it's going to be the same trajectory, but um, you, you've got to get a base. You've got to get a foundation, and that's what we're doing, trying to do right now. It's been 46 years since Bowling Green's been to the tournament. That's a lot of players, a lot of coaches that have gone through is that a challenge you're looking forward to certainly you can't say it's been the last couple years it's it's been 46 years is it, is it an institutional problem well we're going to find out uh, I'm not sure uh, I love the challenge I love any challenge um, you know, it's, uh, they haven't been in the tournament since I was born you know that's a line that we've used many times and um, you know I, I think that this, like we talked about there's infrastructure in place there's people in place, there's ideas in place, and um, you know, you know, NCAA tournament, that's a long way off. Right now we're trying to build a culture and build a foundation, but it's certainly something we're not going to shy away from in the future. You look at high school basketball in Ohio, a lot of talent. For a lot of different reasons, it seems like both Bowling Green and Toledo have some trouble attracting that talent. Are you going to look to, to emphasize Ohio recruiting, or do you need to go nationally? We're going to try to get players, uh, the best players that we can get, no matter where they're at. Uh, we certainly love to get some local players to fill out our roster, but, um, you know, recruiting is, you know, we could have a two-hour conversation about just recruiting, but we're certainly uh, trying to build relationships every day. Uh, I got an unbelievable staff that, that know people walking in the door, and uh, we've been out and about trying to, to meet new people and, and build these relationships and get people on campus uh, for unofficial visits and for camps, and, and we're going to continue to do more of that this upcoming year, and I think we'll have a good shot of landing some of the local talent once we, you know, get our, our footprint on the ground and get to know some folks. How, how difficult of a process is that, coming in from Wichita State, getting the feet on the ground and, and starting to meet the folks? It just takes time. Um, you know, those first few weeks, you wish there was 48 hours in a day instead of 24, but it is what it is, and you had to prioritize. And uh, now that things have slowed down a little bit, we're, we're able to, to go out and, and meet more folks and, and um, get our name out there and get our brand out there and try to, try to build some relationships. What can folks expect out of a Chris Jans coach team on Bowling Green? Well, I hope that our team plays really hard. Uh, I hope we have a product on the floor that when you leave the gym, nobody's muttering under their breath that we didn't compete or we weren't ready to play. Um, you know, that, that's the biggest thing for me is that, you know, people pay money to come watch college basketball and, and they deserve, you know, our best effort. And I think we'll do that every day and I think it'll spill over into how our guys compete on a, on a daily basis. And then when the lights are on and the popcorn's popping, um, you know, I hope it even goes to a higher level. You look at the MAC as a basketball league, it's had some success, particularly in the NCAA tournament, but it seems like there's almost been more of a football reputation in the league the last couple of years. Certainly the new contract with ESPN is going to help both football and basketball. What can the, the basketball teams do to, to try and bring the MAC back up to the level of the high mid-majors? 
Well, obviously, I don't know the complete history like most people do of, of the MAC basketball and, and the highs and lows of it. But, um, you know, I know from the meetings and the discussions that I've had with the other head coaches since I've arrived is, you know, scheduling is a big topic and scheduling is hard. It's just like recruiting. And I know there's been a lot of talk of trying to improve schedules and try to get more competitive schedules and, and improve our RPI. And, um, you know, so we're going to try to jump in on board with the rest of the MAC, MAC coaches and try to do th some things like that.